पीपल नाउ यस एवरी वन ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट Screen is visible to all. Yes, I hope everyone will be able to see the screen now. So uh, today we have to start with unit ten. I think someone is trying to enter. today we are going to start unit 10 of block 3 hopefully we will be able to finish this block 3 today and uh, then we will left with one block that is block 4 and uh, although as per schedule this is our last class but not to worry uh, rest of the you know remaining fourth block we will cover in the you know practical hours right uh, that will be covered from next week right these are the topic that we are supposed to finish although there is a long list let's try to finish it today so what we are going to do uh, today that is whatever practices whatever you know uh, concepts or tool technology or mindset that we have developed for the development of either you know industry oriented software or some simple business oriented software or any other kind of software today our focus or agenda will revolve around only the mobile application what why it is said to be an encouraging you know uh, decision rather at the part of business uh, people and all so what kind of mindset and what all, all are the you know factors that would really impact the outcome of the mobile application what are the parameters that we have to think about before developing the you know mobile application how it, sh it should any sort of uh, mobile application should serve the business and all so that kind of parameter uh, that kind of understanding we are going to uh, discuss today i think yes so as the uh, you know the outcome of mobile application is concerned so yes it is very much true that mobile application are playing a very important role in our life either we are going to have a shopping or we are going for studies or we are going for you know dining out with the family or travel or whatever you know things we are going nowadays the all you know uh, things are being dependent on different types of mobile application even sometime we have to fill full uh, you know fill up our utility bills mobile bill or let's say 
यू नो बिजली का बिल और पानी का बिल और एवरी थिंग आवर डिपेंडेंसी इज ऑन डिफरेंट यू नो मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन यस इट इज दीज आर दाइटल टू बिजनेस ग्रोथ एज वेल बिकॉज एवरी बिजनेस इज नाउ रिलाइंग ऑन टू दैविंग ऑफ यू नो मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन so therefore the processes and the strategy of the mobile application development must be designed in a way that various parameters are taken into consideration so today we will uh, discuss about all those you know parameter which uh, you know impact the usage as well as the you know outcome of the using mobile application it hopes that found that the outline of transition of this to the development and important element what all are the you know tra- transition how it will how the designing parameter of any web mobile application <laughs> there is no time for us to wait we have to quickly you know adapt, adapt to the development approaches as per the capability of the mobile application because this statistics sh- says that when uh, out of 10 9 people are doing transaction through mobile only or let's say 8 people are doing transaction 8 to 9 people through mobile only it means 80 to 90% percent, 80 to 90% percent people are working on mobile only or they are using mobile for doing any sort of transactions right so this idea is really encourage the software community software development community rather to have the a proper understanding on this part so that they can you know multiply the outcome or the profitability of any sort of business so yes mobile application it have become the part of our everyday lifestyle and most of us remain dependent on them constantly for taking care of several critical operation चाहे हमारी हेल्थ की बात हो पढ़ाई की बात हो ये किसी भी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ की बात है हमारी जिंदगी जो है वो मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन पर डिपेंडेंट होती जा रही है सेंसर्स टेक्निक अलोंग विद एन ईज ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ट्रांसफर टू मार्केट हैज मेड मोबाइल डिवाइस द न्यू कंप्यूटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर कंडक्टिंग एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ बिजनेस और फॉर द इवन द इंडिपेंडेंट डेवलपर सो ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट आर गिविंग अ न्यू यू नो एज टू द डेवलपमेंट कम्युनिटी टू focus their you know to focus their uh, approach on to the mobile applications and all yes mobile application are vital to the business growth like, that is the examples of some mobile application that we do every day we use all these you know apps that is whatsapp instagram app uber youtube swiggy and calendar apps and uh, sometimes we have we are very much fond of playing games and all so every time uh, we use this you know have mobile application so the process and the strategy of mobile application development must be designed in a way that various parameters are taken into the consideration so wo kaun kaun se parameters hain jisko mujhe apne mind mein rakhna padega taki main ek achhe successful mobile application develop kar sakun that we are going to discuss it hopes that found the outline of the transition of the design to the development and important elements to consider बिकॉज जब हम एक मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन यू नो बनाते हैं तो बहुत सारी इंटरफेसेस आएंगी इमेजेस आएंगी जो आपस में ट्रांसिट करके 
बेटर यूजर एक्सपीरियंस जनरेट करेगी सो कीपिंग इन व्यू ऑफ दैट आइडिया वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट यू नो इंटरफेस डिजाइन और वी कैन से द ट्रांजिशन ऑफ वन यू नो इमेज टू दैट ऑफ द अनदर वन सो दैट इट कैन जनरेट अ बेटर एक्सपीरियंस in the development we have to consider all these aspects apart from this there are various approaches that are recommended for any application development project to be useful because while developing the you know application mobile application i don't have to showcase my expertise of over the development uh, you know parameter rather I, we have to highly focus on to the you know needs and requirement of the end user or we can say the target audience so keeping that idea we have to you know develop the mobile application so mobile application yes it is an application software which runs on the mobile and provide necessary services to the user right so mobile application it mainly run on the smartphone and tablet rather than the computer so this agenda that uh, that must be clear although it, it is already clear with all of us but still while developing the mobile application you have to think only about the about the mobile users there are certain pros of a mobile application what all it can offer if we are having a any sort of mobile application or business application with us so what sort of benefit it is offering to us so yes a user can offline access all the things or all the they can get aware of or the you know and they can get information about uh, the the offerings of any business in offline mode also extensive capabilities that is it provides a lot of feature and functionality to the user it uh, personalization can be you know preferences can be added so the person feel that uh, yes someone is talking to them or they are someone is taking care of their personalized need and all apart from this there is another important aspect that we have to focus while developing the you know mobile application is yes it's a good way to or it's a good uh, tool we can say to promote the business opportunities if my some of my product is about to reach to my storehouse or sto store so i can inform uh, through these uh, mobile application about the information about the upcoming product to my customer and even if someone is going out of stock i can again inform to my client so th this this way again this kind of scenarios will really you know generate lots of opportunity for me as a business owner to interact with my client so interaction will you know definitely give some more opportunity to showcase our, about our, our brand and all yes it becomes sometime more convenient for the user uh, in terms of their the user experience uh, to uh, with the help of this mobile application people don't have to think uh, uh, different parameter rather they have to just everything is just a click away so again in terms of loading content and the usability function so all this become convenient if we have a business mobile application user experience yes it's uh, it's uh, because every mobile offer some sort of specific functionality to the user so yes in terms of user experience uh, a user can have better interactive elements with the help of mobile application so they can better understand the things that why we are using this particular you know mobile app speed performance it's again another encouraging feature that uh, grab the attention of every online visitor functionality means that the greater functionality than the website so all these are the you know encouraging parameters which uh, motivate us to go for the development of any business or mobile application another important elements of the mobile application are that yes powerful development tools and framework are greatly simplify the task of implementing a mobile application sometime it seems like uh, it's just a drag and drop mechanism and that really help us to understand the entire business you know world in a bigger way so yes we will understand that that how this thing can be simplified and all small and medium size mobile application applications that can be built easily by a single developer Uh, it, it, yes it it is uh, not only restricted to mobile application rather if the size of the application is too small then a single person can develop it so as mobile application are moving from inexpensive recreational application to more business critical uses so because uh, most of the time uh, when uh, we go for the mobile application development previously it was restricted only to some sort of refreshing kind of you know things and then we get motivated to use any sort of mobile application 
but now the agenda is totally shifted to entire paradigm is shifted to more business critical uses uh, by means of this mobile application so the software engineers are applying so the software uh, you know community or software development community they are uh, shifting their focus on to the the development of this kind of application which actually serve the you know purpose uh, of the uh, of the business basically yes so as mobile application are moving from in inex uh, expensive recreation uh, application to the more business critical uses so the software engineers are applying software engineering processes to assure the development of secure high quality mobile application because everyone we want to give a secure user experience to the our visitor or to our you know uh, end user so yes it is the way uh, the way we think about the mobile application it is totally than that the than that of uh, you know thinking like a classical software that we used to do uh, in the traditional way of thinking so yes uh, the entire software engineering technique it will transfer easily to the mobile application domain by means of these you know upcoming technologies so now there is a turn there is a you know concept which talks about that how the transition from design to coding of mobile application really can generate a bigger or better experience to the you know end user or mobile user so yes transition it holds the information about the animation that will be run on its target during a same chain because ultimately any web application is uh, any mobile application rather it is developed to give a better experience to the user so again and, and that uh, you to generate that better user experience we need to transit different interfaces uh, from uh, with with that of the one another so there are different types of features in, re in relation to that of the transition framework when you are selecting any sort of you know transition framework so these are the features that we have to be aware of that is group level animation in this apply you need to apply one or more animation effects to all the views in a or uh, in a top down manner or from bottom up up manner again it it depends upon our way of thinking that how we want to generate the user experience another one is built in animation in this some pre defined animations are already there with us and we have to just choose or uh, you know uh, tick mark or just click on it and it will start working when uh, uh, we are selecting it for the sort for the sake of transition another one is resource file support in this load uh, view hierarchy and built in animation uh, that is from layout resources files are uh, you know picked up so that it's uh, again start generating the you know better user experience so uh, again out of all these available you know framework which for framework we have to use that we have to uh, you know plan with respect to the journey that we want to uh, have with respect to our you know end user apart from this there is a life cycle life cycle callbacks also in this they provide control over the animation and hierarchy changing process so uh, depending upon the requirement we have to choose one or two or even all the thing all four parameters uh, with respect to the transition framework just to have a look there are different you know uh, you know uh, kind of phases there in which lots of you know interfaces they merge together to give a you know better experience to the end user so this transition manager it sequences the different sort of interfaces and uh, 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 that is to have a better or to generate a better user experience so it will start from till end it will manage each and every uh, you know transition phases now next comes wireframe so wireframe is what basically it is the sketch of the application or website or any sort of a system we are going to develop so wireframe are created in black and white with simple place holder boxes and lines means these are the certain tools that we use for developing the wireframe so instead of showing the details wireframe present a general idea that what the end product or our mobile application will look like when the actually it will be in the hands of my end user and how the screen transition will flow from one interface to another phase that we can understand by creating the you know wireframe and how the things will lay out or look the look the screen when it will actually appear onto our mobile screen 
Next comes Android wireframe. Till now we have understood only the you know wireframe word. Now we are talking about the Android wireframe. So yes, Android wireframe are the screen sketches of the Android apps. It help us uh, help you to present and explain di design ideas to uh, of uh, different apps with respect to the customer experience, which ultimately lead to the you know give a uh, giving a kind of consent. to the idea which was proposed by the you know mobile uh, mobile development community so yes mobile frames are intended to use or to demonstrate the functionality and even i haven't you know started developing the kind of a, a mobile application but by, by just just by creating a wireframe uh, first we can get a kind of idea about the you know functionality and uh, how the user interaction will you know take place and how the screen transition will flow Uh, explicitly specifying the actual screen component should look like when the, my actually mobile application will run so it we can see that uh, creating a wireframe it it is said to be a first step in the designing part uh, before the design of even mobile application even we can you know plan in this way also that how my uh, you know web application will uh, generate the kind of behavior to my end user that can also be uh, that idea can also be you know grabbed with the help of these wireframe so minimum uh, level so this uh, android or this wireframe kind of uh, you know uh, practices is really helpful so why to go for wireframe the idea better user uh, interface and better user experience then definitely you should go for uh, the you know wireframe creation first and then consider everything in terms of the usability you you read this usability word that is ability to use why we are creating the mobile application yes for the sake of our mobile uh, users so if my interfaces or the kind of uh, you know component that i have used uh, in the during the development of my mobile application if it is not understandable at the part of my target audience or uh, if there some sort of confusion is there so that misconception and even if some sort of misconception is also there so that can only be resolved with the help of these wireframe kind of you know practices and apart from this you can get, get an idea that how your you know uh, user will engage with the help of these you know different uh, interfaces and all and of course we because we all are they uh, are be, uh, behaving not not only behaving rather thinking like a software developer so yes every time we have to take care of that aspect of the organization in which we have to work in a cost effective way for the development of any sort of you know effort for the organization now what is an android wireframe so that yes it is a kind of wireframe that allow you to design your android mobile apps Android uh, wireframes serve as the starting point for your mobile application visual design. The way uh, you know, the way we think, uh, let's say I have to make a PPT about the topic, let's say leadership, right? So uh, we never start working directly onto the PowerPoint and start working. Okay, let's start. No, we make a concept for that thing that how the things will move on. What all are the ideas that we have to project into this PPT? Similarly, the, that kind of understanding, that kind of mindset. we have to also kept in our mind when we are going to develop any sort of mobile application that what uh, kind of visual design parameters will really uh, you know stimulate the action at the part of my you know end user and all so that we have to understand since wireframe is simple and easy to understand you can put it as a part of your business requirement document also having or creating a, a kind of wireframe will really uh, serve as a better documentation and different stakeholders can you know refer this a documentation for better understanding that what all is going to uh, what how this mobile application is serving to the business world so even you can uh, showcase that uh, documentation to your client to have a bigger understanding of the things which is about to launch at the part of business so you can uh, take it as a uh, as a you know documentation tool also uh, this uh, you know uh, this uh, particular image i have take uh, take out to your, from your books also so wireframe is kind is a kind of this kind of thing that how okay how the things should 
same thing you know being transferred in this way okay once the thing is wire framed in this way so it it is giving a kind of idea and same thing same same is you know transformed by using um, you know different uh, mobile application languages into in the form of a mobile apps mobile app now there are different elements of the mobile application really important specifically when we are talking about mobile application so yes because every mobile application is a kind of solution software or solution application uh, to any sort of business so before launching any mobile application we need to draft the product strategy first so what all are the parameters with respect to the product strategy that we have to consider in terms of every business even if the you know same business uh, you know same industry is there still the product strategy can be different for all other you know business owners and apart from this we have to focus on different uh, you know needs so that uh, my web, web my mobile application is going to offer with the help of the app so user interface always it is uh, uh, it is considered as a good uh, you know software engineering practice to uh, think uh, in a very you know in a very elaborated way about the kind of interfaces design that we that can generate a better user experience or healthy you know uh, user experience screen resolution graphics and uh, user experience in terms of design social sharing option always you know give a better experience to the user feel people feel connected with these kind of options if they are available on your app security is always the you know foremost a uh, point to consider while uh, any sort of uh, application power consumption compatibility parameter either your offline is serving offline functionality to the user or not and uh, feedback mechanism or having the provision to give my feedback about your mobile app and all they all are you know encouraging feature that we have to uh, not only make a checklist for all these things rather we have to ensure that all these things must be available into our mobile app apart from this everyone love to have uh, to be updated by uh, you know regular updates and all so if my mobile is, app is offering such kind of updates to the user so it it again Uh, will grab the attention of my visitor also so marketing and uh, yes every mobile application is a solution is a marketing solution to the business world so how it is you know impacting the entire business that we have to understand user friendly navigation is always a very very please underline this point user friendly navigation is really an encouraging feature uh, specifically when we are going for the mobile application and content it, it really uh, you know play a very great role in the success of any kind of you know mobile application and uh, performance of the mobile device it really impact the way how the things are actually you know configured now let's talk about all these parameter one by one so the first one is that is the product strategy now you can map all these things this is the product strategy so there are certain things that we have to keep in our mind while developing any sort of you know mobile application so the first component of any success, successful mobile application is that uh, thorough product strategy must be you know explored because every mobile application it is serving some sort of pain point to the, of the user it is solving you know it is giving a solution to uh, any uh, problem or any challenge that your end user is basically you know solving but you have here you have to set the you know expectations of your uh of your uh, of your boss or your uh, even um, some prospective client also every mobile application is not going to generate the immediate business benefit to the business immediate benefit will not be generated it will take time because again a mobile app is what it's a software let let start branding first for this thing when the people will get to know about the features about the thing then only it will start generating like a uh, you know uh, every you know business does not mature in in the on a real time basis so again when you are drafting the you know product strategy for the specifically for the mobile so that uh, that expectations you have to communicate uh, that idea you have to communicate to your boss or whosoever is asking for the mobile app, app from you that oh, if they think that okay now today is uh, let's say 11th of june and we will launch this product. we will be able to 
get the business benefit by the end of this June. No, it's not like that. Every business benefit will not give you immediate result. So here comes your communication skills as a software developer to set this expectation at the part of your employer or whosoever is asking for this kind of thing. So ask for the, you know, set their expectations, then these things will, you know, mature. And address the long term growth benefit. Yes, mobile app will definitely serve the business benefit to the, you know, to the business. But yes, you need to address all these things while, you know, you are communicating with your client. So yes, there are many business cases for the mobile application and countless opportunities are streamlining uh, and the, that we have to streamline basically so that the new customer and value streams can be generated because every mobile uh, app is a kind of solution to the business world. So the key is choosing one that makes the most impact and uh, within the context of the you know broader business strategy. So uh, just uh, while drafting the you know product strategy, you need to uh, uh, spend considerable amount of time in in uh, you know exploring the requirement of your target audience and what are their expectations and how your you know mobile application can actually uh, serve the business uh, world. So that we have to you know here our product is what basically our app that we are going to develop is the uh, product basically. So you should, uh, we, we rather everyone should focus on that part that how this mobile app will serve the different kind of user uh, with respect to their pain points and all, what they are looking for. Next point was comprehending what your application needs to deliver. Before developing any application for your business, we given some time to understand what all aspect of your business the application needs to cover. It's a, it is important to place the priorities of your business out uh, there through your application because this is how both your business and application will be able to succeed, succeed, uh, succeed in the long run. So every time we have to you know consider this point also in our mind while uh, developing the mobile app. Screen resolution. Again, it's a very important res uh, because the size of the uh, mobile uh, uh, mobile screen is too small as compared to that of the any you know uh, this uh, computer system and all so when building your mobile application you should also uh, ma'am ye zara band kar dena uma ma'am zara please band kar dena when building your mobile application you should also consider the screen size and the resolution of various mobile devices that operate on the platform you wish to launch your application so in terms of resolution resolution always you know it, it's a, it is again a very promising feature that we are looking for because clarity of image must be there. So that can be defined in terms of resolution. So you have to achieve the right pixel per inch uh, for, for the standard screen resolution as we do understand very well that uh, the number of uh, more the number of pixel better will be the clarity and better will be the you know resol resolution for our app. So we have to consider again uh, our screen resolution parameter while developing the app. More about this information is available on the application store uh, in terms of their technical parameter for which you know platform we are going to develop this uh, mobile app. Graphics. Everyone knows this thing very well that a picture reflects thousands of words in a single word. A single image can uh, you know can be worthful to reflect the thousands of words. So this again uh, parameter this idea we have to again kept in our mind to make my you know mobile app to be very appealing and eye catchy uh, again in terms of their appearance. So yes appearance is very vital you imagine the scenario when we all go to the market to have some sort of clothes and all. So why we, we pick anything uh, out of the you know many option that is available with us just because of one factor that is appearance or the kind of things how they are you know structure or design. So yes aesthetics or you know graphics it really play a very vital role to this process and in the end the outcome has to be easy and comfortable to the user's eye. So I should uh, even when we talk about graphic I should use very mindfully the kind of color combination I am using uh, sometimes you know the thing should not be so bright so that the moment anything comes in front of my uh, you know user and it uh, the eyes uh, start blinking like this because of the high or bright color contrast and all. So the graphics of your application have the tendency to determine its failure and success. 
so because uh, again we all are human being and we are you know uh, everyone has its own psychology uh, to to think about anything so yes uh, if we will but if we will ignore this kind of graphics parameter so it can uh, be a big mistake uh, to uh, uh, for the success of any you know mobile app so how important it is i hope you are able to get this idea now so it is necessary that the application automatically adjust to all the screen size without any issues and look just as good when users are accessing it on their mobile screen of any size so this uh, you know parameter we have to consider again next one is user experience so yes because what why we are discussing all these parameter just to great just to you know generate a better user experience so better user experience will be generated with the help of better interface designing and all so the interaction between your application and the user should create a in positive and uh, you know positive emotions and positive mindset should reflect uh, when any user is you know uh, using our mobile app so again uh, keeping in view of our target audience once we are cleared at the part of the psychology and the tendencies of our you know end user then only we can have we can generate a uh, better user experience in terms of you know evoking their emotions or stimulating their emotions and what kind of you know things will uh, are actually you know it is into the mind of our customer so that uh, things really uh, exploring all these things will really help us to generate a better user experience also once we understand that thing then only the designing can be done with the help of different graphics and other parameter so yes it is more uh, about how user feel when they are using your application so this feeling should be very positive here this feel and attitude belongs to this part only so that we should have a positive we should generate a positive experience uh, at the part of uh, you know our visitor so you need to design your application with the users always in the mind if we are if i am going to develop an application for the teenager for the senior citizen for the young blood or uh, like you people and uh, something like that so every time the way uh, of designing or generating the user experience will get changed so everything should revolve around the you know target audience so you need to come up with your intuitive and interactive design parameter also always interact uh, the kind of niche or the kind of uh, target audience that you have explored you should uh, uh, you know have a idea in terms of what intuition or you know uh, start uh, stimulation it is generating uh, or it it is grabbing uh, it is uh, it is giving a interactive experience to my visitor also or not and uh, yes it, it should be easy to use to the uh, to know that the right things are going on so that even we have to also focus on this part that uh, our user should not get deviated from the actual parameter that uh, he or she is looking for just for the generation of a better experience so everything should be on track also but with positive emotions and positive mindset and positive attitude and everything uh, should uh, have a, should be should be positive uh, at at all look in the details look into the you know details of the user requirement and and identify uh, user experience strategy so once we are done with the complete research on to the you know requirement part then only a better user experience strategy can be drafted so yes spend considerable amount of time uh, even ask from third party views also uh, once once your research is over at the part of you know target audience or at the part of requirement so again before going ahead just to have a uh, have a healthy discussion with that of the th third party again to have a better or mature idea on this part so to develop a better user experience yes it is a two process a uh, two part process in which there is a beginning as well as end also and we need to follow a scientific and disciplined approach to understand the users problem from their perspective rather than you know showcasing my own skill set that how much good i am in developing a better mobile app no we have to understand the users challenges first and then that user challenges must be transformed in the form of the design solution by, uh, in terms of my mobile app identify and express the problem or articulate the problem area to produce a much more successful solution so the idea is what here that we have to reach closer to the you know challenges or the pain point of the user 
so it it depends how how you know extensively we have a research on that area basically right so nls uh, again to have a better healthy experience on this part we can do a competitive research also the kind of uh, app i am going to develop let's have a experience on other competitive app also so that to have a better you know experience and even i can draft in this way also my strategy of a mobile app in this way also like how my app is a better solution than all other uh, you know available option uh, in the play store so that again will give a competitive edge to my mobile app also analyze the output of this initial user research and problem definition in a well articulated user experience strategy so all we have to think in advance i haven't started till uh, the I, i till now i haven't you know started the development of mobile app work but still i'm in analyzing each and everything in advance just to have a better user experience good speed everyone everything rather i must say when it is connected with that of the technology the first thing that you know clicks to our mind is speed only that is why we we'll, everyone loves to have the speed either we are getting getting the you know speed in uh, responding the our whatsapp or tele you know telegram messages or responding in the email or any kind of alerts when uh, you know uh, swiggy is giving us the kind of messages that okay your order is in progress everyone love this kind of thing so yes this speed is really an important and encouraging parameter that we have to consider also when specifically we are uh, you know focusing on our mobile app development so if the application whatever i have developed it hangs and it stuck during the use there's a great possibility that the user get an eye our you know visitor or our you know end user or our customer he is so busy after modi there is only one busy, uh, busy person that is our visitor so i don't i'm not discussing all these thing to annoy my user rather we are here to discuss all those aspect which can annoy to my you know end user so we have to you know discuss each and every possibility here that can generate a better or healthy experience when my client is interacting with my mobile app and uh, i don't want that my mobile user should stop using my you know mobile application because my mobile app is not giving such a good uh, you know feel in terms of speed and other things so yes there are more than enough alternatives and option available in the market that we do understand you know uh, marketing is all about what you are not doing and what i am doing right so there are lot many other alternatives that are readily available with our client or with our online user so uh, i am not going to give you any sort of opportunity so that my you know visitor get switch to another app so it is my responsibility that entire you know responsibility is on my shoulder only to take care of all those aspect that can switch to my user or mobile user to another app so no one would wait for a small motion uh, snail uh, you know motion application rather everyone love to have a better experience or everything which is quick in response everyone loves to have such that experience so yes everyone now wants to have a simple easy and quick way to their solution user friendly navigation i told you that underline this point that yes it is really a very important parameter to have a to generate a better user experience so most user tend to show less patience even i am very less patient in response to this kind of you know things so yes the, imagine the psychology of our online visitor so they have they are lack of patience sometimes and they even have less of patience uh, to an application so that has poor navigation our you know online visitors should not we should not give any sort of a single half an hour, uh, you know even one second pause to him that he can think and okay what to do next our navigation should be so user friendly so that our you know visitor get an idea that what next step he or she has to take on so it again depend how beautifully not beautifully rather how uh, how i have you know understand the psychology and the tendency and the need of my you know end user basically so if i have really worked hard on that dimension then uh, definitely my you know application will really give a better user experience so yes this simple application it pays to have a that is why it is said that simplicity is really a success mantra of any type of application that allow the user 
to find and use what they need with ease because once the things are easy it will encourage all other kind of different set of you know audience set so you should aim to provide a clutter free experience people should not get uh, tired of uh, clicking going this one uh, this place first or this interface first then download this option then go to this no everyone wants a you know smooth and easy journey so focus on delivering a simple and easy to use application you do not need as complex interface although this point i have covered earlier also that those who are genius those who are intelligent those who are have have high iq with them they will crack the uh, outcome of your uh, mobile app anyhow but those who are average or below average or even don't know how to use any mobile or smartphone easily they this kind of audience set will drastically you know eliminated if my user uh, or my you know uh, navigation part is not uh, planned uh, in a structured way so yes we are not going to develop any sort of complex interfaces rather we are develop a simple navigation system that will look modern to my you know uh, wisdom and sometimes simplicity simplicity is really an ultimate so sophistication to all your you know business needs content application content rather content is a king part of any type of application either it is simple you know application software system software console application window web whatever kind of application i am going to develop content is always a major or important or sole part atma parmatma of any software is content only so that is why it is said to be you know sole part right so in mobile application yes you need to fix to the label because uh, we are having a limited amount of space and in that limited space we have to showcase that how uh, we can logically and scientifically and psychologically can get the next section from the at the part of you know visitor or at the part of our customer so we have to you know uh, use that content on the buttons on on the you know uh, that uh, la- we have to label, label each and everything and yes we need to provide the guideline and specific techn- terminology also uh, you know uh, when we talk about specific terminology that includes some sort of cta that is call to action so while you know drafting any sort of uh, you know mobile the you know, content uh, strategy of any mobile app we need to have some specific cta or call to action words that will really uh, you know give an idea to my uh, online visitors that what uh, next section they have to you know gra- uh, they have to perform so that is why it is written specific terminology okay download now click here or something like that right uh, yeah, now you ha- you are redirected to another page this kind of words will give an idea to my visitor so again uh, because we are having a limited space so screen size in terms of uh, you know mobile app so we have to uh, 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 we have to pick those words or that specific keyword that will convey not only the correct meaning to my visitor rather it should be s- small enough uh, keeping in view of the you know uh, mobile screen size so the content in your application should be explicit and precise also stuffing keywords for seo op- optimization that is the search engine optimization let me take you to the uh, although this idea you can directly relate with that of uh, the your mobile play store also so let's uh, ask from google that okay this is google i want to buy a new mobile so entire you know you know the things which are coming in front of you although these are the paid ads now entire digital world is doing competition to come at the first page of google which is here which is the organic uh, you know although these are not the mobile apps but yes the same criteria is applicable to play, play store also right so my idea to sh- reflect to why this uh, screen why we are here basically is that the entire you know uh, digital effort that we are applying in terms of software engineering is to bring our business on the first page of google kyunki jo dikhta hai wahi bikta hai 
ये कंसेप्ट हम बहुत अच्छे से समझते हैं अगर मेरे बिजनेस की वेबसाइट इस फर्स्ट पेज पे दिखेगा ही नहीं तो कौन जाएगा नेक्स्ट पेज पे आप सब खुद इस बात को रियलाइज करते हैं कि कब हमने जाके गूगल के इस टेंथ पेज पे या सेवन पेज पे हमने कहीं कुछ सर्च किया और हमें मिल हमने इस लेवल पे हम गए ही नहीं हम तो सब सबसे पहले वाले पेज पे जो नजर आ जाता है बस उसी को देख लेते हैं वट एवर रिफ्लेक्ट इन द फर्स्ट पेज दैट इज सर्च इंजन रिजल्ट पेज दैट is serving the business benefit so the entire competition of the you know online uh, world is to bring the business visibility at the first page only so this the this point that i was discussing here was that is the seo it was the seo effort that is the search engine optimization effort which is applied to bring the visibility of uh, different mobile application or web application or any site sort of uh, you know application to bring the business at the first page of you know google so th- that is why and one of the most important factor to bring the business in the first page of google is the content only that is why i have written that content is said to be the king part of any kind of application either it is web or window or mobile application so that is why we need to stuff this keyword very mindfully so that my you know content based on my content or keyword oriented or you know seo oriented content will really give benefit to the business because once my uh, app or my any sort of application is on the first page again my it will allow the uh, you know visitor to click on that option and then the things will get materialized बिकॉज ये आइडिया हमें हमेशा ध्यान रखना है जो दिखता है वही दिखता है जो नहीं दिखता वो कभी नहीं बिकेगा सो so, उस चीज के लिए भी अगर हम देखते हैं तो कंटेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इट मे डिस्टॉर्ट द मैसेज यू आर ट्राइंग टू कम्युनिकेट सो यस वी हैव टू वेरी माइंडफुली अप्लाई यूज द कॉन्टेंट दैट वी आर यूजिंग दैट इज वाई कॉन्टेंट यू नो मार्केटर्स आर बिंग हायर्ड बाई एवरी बिजनेस नाउ इट इज सो दैट यू नो बाई अप्लाइंग द और बाई इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द a better content strategy we can exactly showcase the offerings of any business to our deserving prospective clients application with updated content and information look new to all the user everyone love, love to be you know updated so why not content also so every application is useful once it reflects the updated content so yes everyone is looking for such kind of update updated content and it will again grab the potential customer also and uh, even repeat customer what is this repeat customer if ha- you have uh, let's say visited to my store or online store last time and now i have given some sort of alerts or some sort of messages to you and uh, sh- to you know invite you to look at the upcoming products and all so once that that kind of effort can also be you know applied with the help of uh, implementing the content strategy so again the statistics show us that 40% of the customer in any business could be repeat customer you know by showcasing the uh, information uh, or by reflecting the information about the upcoming product to my existing client can generate the profit to a business up to 40% thus me se char client mujhe mere purane wale mil sakte hain yes but we have to apply a repeat customer or remarketing kind of effort to my business then only this thing can be done so it can be easily done with the help of mobile apps so most expert they talk about delivering accurate and specific content also because some of the you know uh, site they are very popular because of this feature only that whatever content they are offering it is not only accurate rather specific one i told you in the very beginning classes or two or second or third class that uh, you should have two three apps always uh, with you that is like geeks for geeks kora.com and uh, that stackoverflow.com these are the you know very good platform that not only offers good content rather a different perspective different you know ideas are uh, there that we can refer and again that will really help us to generate a better you know content or mature content in this context next one is this yes there are few different ro- routes that you can uh, make your online product ready for the mobile devices what all are these different routes that we are going to discuss the first one is the quality of the experience you want your application to have 
so once uh, you know i am drafting the you know uh, uh, content strategy for uh, my mobile user so that could be in terms of experience what experience i want to generate the complexity of the feature you need for your application to work on and amount yes the budget so these are the you know different parameter that can you know largely depend uh, to make your content to be you know oriented or it will revolve around these parameters another one is mobile device performance so yes the size of the mobile battery backup processor usage social sharing option is uh, again uh, you know all the social uh, media icons if it is there it really encourage the visitor they feel more connected security is the foremost important concern that we have to con consider and, uh, and the the login and the you know uh, better user experience uh, in terms of secure user experience should be planned for the mobile visitor power consumption compatibility with respect to different browser operating system and devices must be again considered uh, with respect to the mobile application simplicity is the success mantra for the success of any sort of mobile application offline function are nowadays the most liked function among the mobile users have high performance feedback option regular updates and marketing because marketing is a, is what about it's all about that what you are going to do what you are uh, you have already done and what all are the things we are going to achieve telling all these things about the brand about everything uh, that is even if your mobile app is about to uh, launch on the upcoming on the this coming 20th of june so that can also be you know communicated with the help of marketing effort so all these uh, you know parameter we have to consider Uh, while you know thinking about the mobile device performance now there are different uh, approaches to the development of mobile application so why we all are discussing all this topic is to put the spotlight on different mobile development approaches and guide to the best way to the you know develop application which is based on what you need so depending upon your need we have to choose the kind of application so native application development these are the different five parameters or five you know development approaches the first one is native application development cross platform application development hybrid application development which is the collection of or the you know merging of native and cross platform uh, application development and then rapid application development which is in short called as a ramad or write brief not on rmad or rmad b we can call it a progressive web application or pws right let's cover one by one so the for the project owner it should be in the best interest to define the purpose of any mobile application in according with what exact need of the target audience is so this will once you understand the target audience needs and requirement because every mobile application is a solution to these needs basically so this will really help you uh, to once you understand the need then uh, you can you know understand the amount of time which, which will be involved in the development of this kind of mobile app again once you have that estimation of uh, timeline then the financial and technical resources what all can be needed can be planned which it will be able to choose the most favorable development approach to follow so yes applications are distinct in their own way if the goal and the desire is to uh, develop a long term project then an application that will be responsive have a superior quality user experience and smooth performance and reliable security also then in that scenario and even if you are going to uh, develop a while for a specific uh, a specific kind of um, you know uh, a device then the native development is always an advisable part at the part of software engineering practices so and if you are looking to compromise on to the budget part no 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 we don't have so much budget to spend on this particular app we are having a limited amount on this part so if you have to compromise in, in this context at the part of client is, has communicated this idea to you then it is uh, go, then, then uh, we can recommend to go for the cross platform uh, or for the usage of you know cross platform uh, approach because it will help in the speedy development of the mobile app so this is how we can uh, take this decision also 
नेटिव एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट इज द यूज ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म स्पेसिफिक प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट किट एंड डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट व्हिच इज बीइंग ऑफर्ड बाय डिफरेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रोवाइडेड सो व्हेनेवर द नेटिव एप्लीकेशन वर्ड कम्स टू योर माइंड यू कैन थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिफरेंट यू नो डिवाइसेस और डिफरेंट यू नो ओएस प्रोवाइडर एंड ऑल so in other words if you are planning to have an application for the ios and android kind of user so these application will be developed separately for each platform with the use of completely different technological stacks so yes native applications uh, application support of all available feature of the platform and compatible devices so yes native application they have higher performance and responsiveness because they are specifically developed keeping in view of that device or os what all are the prime reason that will really uh, motivate us to choose this native mobile app, de- app development are access to com- complete device features scalability or extensibility is there in the need of power we can add on more feature uh, to this by having this uh, native mobile application because business always you know keep on evolving so if business there is slight changes even if the small slight changes are there so that uh, changes will should be reflect at the part of my mobile app also this scalability really help us to in, you know incorporate all that feature also offline performances so again it is a very liked most feature still the stability and cost so all these you know uh, promising feature uh, really help us to go for the development of native mobile app development what all are the advantages that the native uh, application development approaches are offering to us so the first one in this regard is that is overall native application should have the best performance that is why we are uh, using this particular type of or we are creating this kind of it is very platform specific it support uh, it 100% support is provided at the part of operating system feature even clear application update path and support tool set is there and native application are highly reliable secure and responsive responsive also so again these are the benefit or advantages that uh, encourage us to go for the you know native application development so what all uh, you know programming languages i can use for the development of this native mobile applications so the first one is objective c and the second one is swift so let's cover one by one why we go for swift so these are the different benefits or advantages that this language is offering or it is you know again encouraging our developers to look for or to use this particular language so the first one is multi feature programming language operate at a very fast it is compatible swift is compatible with objective c and even functions with cocoa touch framework and apple's cocoa is also there so mobile device support is there and community support is there there are lot many people who are very active in the usage of swift and objective c uh, you know uh, languages so if you stuck up anywhere during the development you are looking for some sort of uh, you know uh, support so again you can put your query in the quora in the in the geeks for geek and uh, githubs and many more communities uh, you know supporting this way so again it's a support for the uh, software engineering community also what all are the advantages that the objective c language is offering so yet it work with c++ also so if i have a better understanding on c++ so uh, i can easily work with objective c also so highly recommended and well tested language that is why it is uh, considered as a good choice among the uh, mobile app developer it is having the tools that really help us to you know reflect better messages also and the simple syntax is also there simple and effective use of private uh, apis so all these you know apart from this the third party library support is also there and large community support or we can say a robust community support is also you know uh, you know supported by objective c language so yes the programming language with community support are not only easy to learn but they also help you to grow because lots of people they support you then and there in the need of our when you ask for some support or you raise some question into the q platform 
So all these application we all are familiar with this. Yes, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and this one, and Insta. Everything, every every app which is in front of you is very familiar with all of us. So all these are being developed using Swift only. So there are different benefit uh, that the Swift is offering. Yes, better readability and syntax is there. Low maintenance is always a very you know promising feature that. Uh, Really grab our attention because we look for low maintenance means low cost also for the at the part of employer. So again, it's a uh, you know loving feature at the part of uh, employer also. L uh, lower chances of error. The interactive background is there. So Swift is offering all this feature, high speed and open source uh, you know cross platform. So all these things are really you know help us to uh, go for Swift. Although this uh, comparative chart is uh, very self-explanatory, so it can be asked in the examination also uh, to compare or, or reflect the key points in which the objective C is different from that of, from that of the Swift. Although this, uh, these uh, two three slides, this one, these two three slides are not the part of your Igno stuff. I have captured from other sources and I find it very useful for all of you. So that's why I have kept it here. Another important thing is tool set. That is, yes, there are two major tool set which is used for the specifically for the you know application of uh, iOS application development. The first one is App Code and another one is Xcode. So App Code uh, is yes, it is the first upcoming tool for programming native uh, iOS kind of application and comes as an alternative to the Xcode. Some developer they have put out the word that it enables faster coding than its rival Xcode. So these feature we have to, you know, uh, uh, you have to uh, capture in our mind that why to go for all these things. So yes, app code can only design interface with the use of written code. App code support various programming, uh, you know, languages for the Swift development environment such as JavaScript, C, C++ and Objective-C also. So because it is, it supports all these languages, so it supports in system programming also. Apple Xcode, they can be renamed, they can be named the official integrated development environment for all Apple kind of, uh, you know, application. So therefore, it is an appropriate choice of a tool set for the, you know, iOS application developed. So the full feature development environment of Xcode, it enables the production of not only the mobile application, but the desktop application too. So all the, you know, integrated development environment features are available uh, within the app, Apple export so that uh, again help us to uh, give a better version of the mobile app so it uh, buttress being to buttress buttress being a good user interface development tool it works best for the gaming application because uh, lots of you know interactiveness is required while developing the any sort of gaming application so uh, Xcode developed application can work on numerous, you know, Apple uh, Apple product also. It is equipped with the support for lots of repository from GitHub, from Git uh, documentation, ins instrumentation, and debugging tools. And it can, you know, develop user interfaces by using the graphical editor. So you could be able to get an idea that how rich it is this to have uh, to work under this environment. It is compatible with a list of other programming languages also like C, C++, Python, Objective-C, Objective-C++, Java, AppleScript, Ruby, Rails, Swift and many more like this. There are Android application development stack. So there are two languages like Kotlin and Java. So these are used for the development of Android application. So what all are the benefits that the Kotlin is specifically offering? So yes, by developing your uh, Android application using Kotlin, it will help us uh, to give a uh, multi-platform support to the running application. A concise and secure code is there. Interoperability with Java because IDE is there. Again, uh, JDK is there or uh, we can say that byte code oriented platform is there or feature is there. Functions can be extended in the need of our big community support or robust support com robust community is with us because uh, more than 2 million devices software is uh, already into the java so that entire community will support here also 
so e easy easy code maintenance is uh, there so all these you know feature of the kotlin really help us to go for this for the selection of this particular language kotlin is more recent programming language in comparison to java so it is an appropriate technology which is a better option for the android studio that is fast and stable also it is an object oriented and also an open source programming language it is highly functional and support higher order function also it kotlin has a powerful syntax with fewer error than other languages which is used to develop the android apps equally important it is faster to code clean and light weighted and less verbose also so originally it is based on to the jvm or java virtual machine interoperability is there because white code is there or jvm is there with java makes it possible for the developer to combine the code from the java based project with kotlin so once we have some something java oriented so that can be integrated or that can be merged with the kotlin java as you know it very well that yes it is the most used you know sometime when a student ask me that okay suggest us that which language we should go for so i my answer is java first yes but yes with the passage of time things and decision also get changed because now a day the statistics says that we should go for python so now let's uh, go to let's talk about java now java is the most used class space because everything is term is implemented in terms of class only so yes java is the most used class based object oriented programming language for developing any sort of android application so once uh, I, i i understand the java i can develop the android application so yes java is ideal for the mobile and web application and for the big data uh, applic data uh, big data kind of application famous it is famous for the rich open source tools and libraries that has facilitated the easy and fast development of top notch applications top development speed and product quality are the most prominent you know advantages of the java however it has downside of being slow and memory space every you know technology has some sort of merits and demerits they are associated with that so yes you can consider the java for the complex kind of decision that which language you should go for if the kind of it has communicated you it that reflects an idea that yes it is not a simple application rather it is a complex mobile application or mobile project so yes then in that situation we should prefer to use a java so that in the near future if some sort of extensibility or scalability or you know features is to be revised or evolved then that can be easily done with the help of java so big players such as even the google continuously work to you know make the java language better so the main parts of the android operating system are programmed with java so that is why the, the, the google is also focusing on this part so yes why to go for you know java the, there are lot many advantages it is highly secure which is always the first choice while choosing any sort of tool technology or feature so because it is secure greater network cap capability is supported by this portability and scalability is there automatic management of memory robust programming language support is there easy to use and compile feature is there not limited to any platform so all these you know things encourage any kind of developer or any uh, uh, mobile developer to go for the java for a native integrated development environment we have two you know tools or software that is android studio and eclipse so these are the most favored software so when we talk about android studio so it is then integrated development environment for google uh, from the google it is called as a android studio so it is developed employed to edit written code because it is an ide so yes it allow you to edit the code or whatever things you want to apply you can handle the performance using the lots of debugging tools which are readily available under the studio with such characteristic as flexible development and immediately build and deploy system uh, can be done with the help of the android studio so yes android studio it enables making unique high quality android application notably there is a much uh, major difference if compared to xcode which functions specific specifically for the mac operating system the android studio work with other operating system 
as well. So this is the criteria how what you can do again keeping in view of your uh, client's requirement. So yes, Eclipse Software Development Kit. It is in short, it is called as a SDK. Also, is another free open source mobile development software which is originated from the IBM Visual and primarily coded into the Java itself. Its main purpose is for the development of Java application. So if you are looking for the Java based application development, then you can uh, go for the usage of Eclipse SDK. So the good news here is that the the developers can extend their use of Eclipse uh, by using the you know coding plugin modules. You have to just activate these plugins and it will start uh, working. So all these companies which are in front of you, they are using these kind of tools. Uh, so you all can trust on these you know uh, tools basically. There are different types of mobile uh, development, uh, types of different mobile development approaches are uh, that is native ap application development, cross platform development, hybrid application development, rapid and progressive web application. So native application development is the use of platform specific programming language and in this, uh, this part we have already covered, I am leaving for the now. Cross platform, we haven't discussed this point. So, cross platform mobile application is the name implies. It simply means that when you want that an application can run on different operating system or different platform. So, in that situation, we should go for cross platform application development. So, the cross platform application is a good alternative to the native development as it solves the challenges of creating a separate application for each mobile application or mobile platform. So, in other words, this concept allows us to deliver the application across multiple, multiple platforms simultaneously. So, with the use of languages and tools, different native data tools that offered by the Google and Apple can be developed. What all are the advantages that this cross-platform application offers? So, yes, uniformity across all platforms. Once this application is developed, it can be used across different platforms. Effective for budget control or low funding, it is again a very important fee point. Implementation is easy. We always look for the easy approaches. Publishing can be once for all the platform. Once the things are ready, once you have published it, then automatically it will be readily available to all the platform. So the source code can be reusable. High demographic coverage is here because our the uh, entire online visitor are of demo. There are different demographics different parameters which uh, uh, reflect the diversity of the you know users or online visitor so creating cross platform applications really help us to uh, cover a bigger or we can say we can uh, holistically you know cover lots of target uh, audience set so fast time to market because uh, lots of things are uh, lost lot many platforms are involved so it give a you know faster time to market also Next one is hybrid application development. So the blend of native web application is known as a native and web application is known as a hybrid app or hybrid app, hybrid app or a hybrid application. So in this computing devices, the native application are installed for a certain program, but to run web application, multiple frameworks are available over the internet. So hybrid apps are often mentioned in the context of the mobile computing. So mo hybrid application development is classified as a form of cross-platform application also. So in this, the application core is developed by the use of standard web, like JavaScript. So we can use lots of tools here, JavaScript, Cascade style sheet, HTML5, and then executing within a native shell. So this resulting application, which is developed by using the hybrid uh, development approaches have the speed of regular web application and better user experience which is similar to any type of you know mobile app, native mobile app notably the use of a single code base enables the deployment at all the platform which is again lowering the cost as compared to that of the native application although cost is uh, yes it is important feature but it is, but it is not everything sometimes we have to uh, you know set the users expectation at the foremost front 
right lastly hybrid application within the hardware dependent features have access to the device hardware component and native platform library also what all are the advantages that the you know hybrid development uh, approach is offering to you again this can be asked directly into the uh, exam also advantages and uh, disadvantages kind of so single development team is required short time to market is required for developing this kind of uh, app capable use of hardware component is possible there same user experience as a native mobile application can be generated lower cost of development and ability to work on and uh, 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 across different platform next one is armad that is rabbit mobile application development it is used to develop cross platform application in short time this really sparks or a kind of stimulation generates in the minds of developer if customer is looking for some short uh, you know quick solutions rather so then uh, it's better to go for this particular approach it involves the usage of specific code free or low code development tools to perform simple application for various business app solution so this methodology is, is based on to the panning so initial prototyping again quick after you understand the entire you know requirement of the client then again a working model is prepared and it is executing in front of the client and if some sort of refinement is required it is again applied into this pro working prototype and then recycled the software component now this software is adaptable or it is more closer to the you know client uh, uh, requirement so that is why in the, in this uh, you know methodology we use adaptive processes are used to you know uh, uh, refine the software or to reach closer to the you know cl client requirement so it can be you know applied with several development platform and the examples are alpha software mobile uh, frame mobile smith they all possess no code and low code option so uh, you know these uh, platform uh, now are becoming more popular nowadays so let's uh, talk about all these parameter so it is just giving you an idea that how different type of you know web application or different type of mobile apps are there so what all are the advantages that the mobile smith platform is offering so yes it is a code free mobile app development platform which is used by the enterprises brand and uh, these uh, the these uh, mobile developer declare the function and feature of application on the front end and the back end translate the specific and uh, that specification into the code how good it is how amazing it would be that we are only defining the features uh, at the front end side and how you know the back end is going to translate it so this kind of benefit or advantages this particular platform is offering so the front end uses metadata to function effectively this is done by summarizing the major information about the function of an application like asset managers or user interface element in the database so thus it cuts off the need for the database coding also right so there are uh, some advantages with respect to the this approach also that yes if you you have developed the mobile app using uh, rm rm ad approach then uh, yes the software mobile app is uh, secure you can work online and offline in both the mode back end data integration is there it uh, it work on all platform including web code free development is there it's a new way of experience also little experience as a developer is needed only and reusable components are there low cost of production is there so next one is again uh, let me clear you one more important point here also this chapter was not the part of uh, initial or uh, other uh, previous mc program this because your mc online program is upgraded keeping in view of the industry requirement so it is my because we are again even this is a, the first experience for you as well as for me also so i am expecting because now the differentiation part has been started whatever we have covered till now in my previous in our previous classes that was the common part that was there into the previous mc program also but now today onward whatever we will, we will cover it is the add on new add on uh, you know parameter which was introduced into this program keeping in view of the current uh, you know industry requirement so i am expecting to have 10 marks question based on this chapter only so just underline this thing 
or have this idea into your mind that uh, have such uh, prepare your stuff in this way so that you can answer this a uh, 10 marks question right so progressive web application this is the yes the future of the world so they merge the web world and the native app world so uh, this pwa is or the native app like web application that are making everyone's life much easier so you can again this stuff is not the this one this the now which is in front of you this uh, stuff is not the part of your igno blogs i have captured from some reliable sources so yes progressive you know web application is a web application now you all can see that how the data which is kept into the web server and service worker they are clubbed you know integrated in the uh, to give rise to a pwa kind of application here service worker is what it is the javascripting code which reflect the behavior of our you know application which work in the background of the of the pwa right so all this ideas all this uh, four technique or key technologies of pwa are that is uh, the uh, application shell architecture transport layer architecture which provide, which is responsible for bringing about the security at this part and the service worker which is a which and uh, you know and the, which actually responsible for providing the offline support and web app manifest file which give us a home screen access to the you know online visitor or mobile user so this progressive web app can differ from a traditional web app web in a variety of way so all these you know or differentiate your pwa based app with a traditional web app what all are the advantages of the progressive use of a single code base application to store to host or download it works on an offline on or offline mode in both the way right so progressive web application it makes perfect sense to create application that don't requires users to go through the hassle of looking for an uh, app store and downloading it and then installing it before they can use it uh, now to get, uh, you know uh, the the way we ha- we all have our you know mobile with us we have lots of feature to be integrated into the uh, settings of our mobile app like the digital well being is a kind of feature which really uh, you know restrict the usage of our uh, how much time we spend on each and every application so yes progress uh, progressive web apps they are uh, we, we are uh, we are motivated to go for this because of these feature uh, that is responsive secure independent of connectivity it's a by by app you just go and use it push notification is there pass is there highly dis, uh, discoverable uh, you know parameter is there so all these things really encourage us to go for this kind of web apps so with this i am finished and i am done with the, your block 3 now we are done with total 12 units uh, out of 16 we are left with the you know four units which is the part of block 4 right so let me take your attendance first everyone just keep your video to be on so that i can take the attendance first just a minute
Yes. Now any question from anybody side? Ah, uh, today I will wind up your class by ten fifty, right? Ah, uh, now I am going to any question from anybody side, or shall I start the next unit? We are done with this part. Yes. Now you all let me share my screen first. Right. Yes. Sir. So the next part is now we have started uh, the block four, that is unit thirteen, which revolves around software process improvement. Up till now, what we have done, we have learned what kind of minds should we should have before developing the software. Then we have gone through with the actual development parameters. Then we have. Reach to the maintenance phase. Now we have crossed that part also. This unit is focusing on that dimension, which focus on how to, you know, improve already running processes. So that is why the SPI or the chapter name is SPI. That is software process improvement. How the running processes can be improved. how the transaction time of any process can be reduced so that it can not only will generate a better user experience rather it will holistically you know improve the quality of the software also right so all these dimension all these you know aspect we are going to cover under this unit that is software process improvement okay let me ask one question from all of you whatever understanding we have till now about the software engineering can you suggest me one word or one line not more than this you can take one word also can you suggest me one word or one line that can actually you know bring about the improvement of, of any process any kind of thing that you can imagine just type into your chat window i am repeating my question that how we can bring about a change or bring bring about the improvement into the already running process what all can be done you all are getting my question yes or no ek line aap mujhe bataiye ya ek word bhi aap bata sakte hain main ke ek word likh ke main batati hu market changes मार्केट में कोई चेंज होगा तो ऑब्वियसली मुझे अपने प्रोडक्ट को कॉम्पिटेटिव बनाने के लिए उसमें प्रोसेस अपने रनिंग प्रोसेस में इंप्रूवमेंट लाना ही पड़ेगा आपने भी कुछ ऐसे ही मुझे देना है ओके फाइन मारिया रिसीव फीडबैक यस न्यू रिक्वायरमेंट यस सिस्टमेटिक अप्रोच नेहा वेरी ट्रू और और कुछ कुछ और जो हमारे रनिंग मेरा सॉफ्टवेयर बन चुका है It is already running. It is serving to my client or end user. No problem at all. But why do I need it? And how can I make it understandable to myself? I know one thing. I know Java. I know you want to make it better. You want to improve it. So for improvement, you are suggesting that I should make Python for Java. My software is already in Java. So what do you want me to guide me to make an improvement? या अपने ऑलरेडी रनिंग प्रोसेस में सनी सेइंग ऑप्टिमाइज वर्क फ्लो वेरी ट्रू हाँ वहाँ काम करने की अप्रोच चेंज होगी अपडेट योर प्रोडक्ट रेगुलर बेसिस राइट ओके फाइन व्हाट एल्स कैन बी डन व्हाट एल्स बेटर विजुअल रेस आज की क्लास में हमने ये बात समझा कि कितनी इम्पोर्टेंस है 
ह्यूमन की साइकोलॉजी को कस्टमर फीडबैक हमेशा जरूरी है इट इज दू नो फीडबैक ऑफ ऑल दैंपियंस हुआ अटेंडिंग दीज क्लासेज येस वॉट ऑल कैन बी डन ऑलरेडी मेरा सॉफ्टवेयर बना हुआ है न्यू इनोवेशन इज ऑलवेज बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस टू ब्रिंग अबाउट यू नो चेंज इन टू द रनिंग सॉफ्टवेयर यस और बस बहुत बहुत है लास्ट क्लास लास्ट टू लास्ट क्लास में शायद मैंने कुछ वीडियो वगैरह भी दिखाए थे वहां से कुछ आइडिया ग्राफ करो एनी थिंग विच ब्रिंग अबाउट अ चेंज और इम्प्रूवमेंट पॉजिटिव चेंज लाना क्योंकि इम्प्रूवमेंट तो हम उसी को कह रहे हैं हाँ हो सकता है जो मैंने चेंजेस अप्लाई किए हैं उसका इमीडिएट रिजल्ट अभी नहीं आएगा ये भी हमें पता है परफॉर्मेंस इम्प्रूवमेंट लाने के लिए वॉट एल्स राइट यस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन को बेटर करने के लिए हम कुछ चेंज ला रहे हैं ताकि एक डॉक्यूमेंटेशन हमारी रिस्टोर की जा सके और फ्यूचर रेफरेंस एड ऑल राइट परफॉर्मेंस इम्प्रूवमेंट आई आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग सिक्सटी सेवन आंसर बस यहाँ तो दस बारह ही आए हैं बस वॉट अबाउट अदर्स वेटिंग फॉर योर रिवर्ट कीप शेयरिंग योर आइडिया नाउ let me share you the what this software process improvement is looking for now look at this diagram and give me more ideas what this uh, you know slide is reflecting to you what idea you are grabbing out of it hamari life kaisi hogi software engineer ki kaisi hogi is is slide se aapko kya idea samajh mein aa raha hai Any idea that you are grab grabbing out of this slide? Yes. Any idea? Yes. Uh, change management always happen, and we will have to uh, prepare and learn related to learning, that. learning, learning. Sony has written already. Yes. If you are a software, we all are rather, I must say, uh, you know, software engineer. If we are into this industry, so every time we have to, you know, we have to be ready to accept the new upcoming challenges. We have to, we can update ourselves with all these challenges just by learning, adapting. Yes, nowadays every company, when uh, during the hiring process, uh, yes, uh, yeah, one more important thing that I just clicked now. You all must be aware of the thing that. Uh, in pcti we are going to conduct a igno placement drive right you must be getting this information through our social media and all other things also so those who, who want to attend what they have to bring they have to come along with the five co copies of their resume and igno i card so monday uh, by 10 o'clock igno placement igno pcti placement drive will be there in the pcti premises you all are you know supposed to attend it those who want to switch to the job or those who are new to the industry they want to have a experience that what kind of things or some someone will will be willing to join any job also so you all are you know welcome to attend this uh, you all are requested to attend uh, this uh, you know placement drive which is being uh, done by the igno under the umbrella of uh, with the uh, you know support of uh, pcti right so suppose we are using the premises of pcti for this thing and after a long time we are having such a kind of you know offline activity in any sort of uh, in in this kind in this way so you all are encouraged uh, for this thing those who are interested they can start visiting to pcti by 10 o'clock on monday 13th of june right so yes so the idea that i was uh, you know discussing was yes never stop learning once we are into this industry we have to evolve yes we have to innovate we have to you know create we have to be creative in every aspect of the software development either it is the interface design or to generate a better user experience or to have a feel good factor or to have a different different parameter whatever we have discussed so yes never stop learning this is the mantra to bring about the software process improvement now uh, let me take you to the next part what is software process improvement agar mujhe improvement lana hai already mere processes run ho rahe the if i really want to all kahan par improvement laun 
So these are the four M principle, which is written already in front of you. Although again, uh, you know, most of it is kept here for your better understanding only. So four M means man, material, machine, method. Entire improvement. If I am talking about the improvement into the already running process, so I have to focus on these four dimension. Man means if I am not well. and was with, with any sort of skill so i your you know organization culture will create such an environment so that i will get the latest technology i must be must be adaptable to the new changing organization culture resources must be readily available proper communication must be there you know focusing on these aspect by which every human beings will interact if we are as a manager if i am focusing on these aspects then definitely it will generate a better improvement within the organization and that improvement will actually you know evolve the process running already running process also and when we talk about machine it means because uh, every machine has its own modus operandi has its own design parameter and everything so if the design of the uh, machine is simple everyone can use it and uh, then uh, installation is easy supplier and every kind of you know different kind of user can use it easily all these you know aspect or uh, or this machine is the solution to every kind of end user either it is a you know operational the team at the operation part or at the supplier part everyone is using it easily so that is a kind of improvement to the organization method means every method is evolved by the time the by the amount of time that it is taking to run any you know kind of transaction right so again by maintaining the proper schedule and by tracking tracking it and by evaluating each and every you know parameter in terms of time and the methodology what methodology you know in the production engineering it is also uh, you know evaluated that there are if there are two machine then how one machine is taking how much time and what kind of you know outcome it is generating and how many transaction is being done in a single minute so in this way when we are applying the process improvement at the part of software so what methodology i mean uh, for a particular method and how much benefit it is generating how much time it is uh, saving uh, so everything all these methods can be evolved material in terms of quality either it is a quality of the paper quality of the manpower quality of the other infrastructure or resources all this you know matters a lot under the material part and uh, other aspect cover the budget and demand so all this you know taking care of all this uh, once we say all the 4m so 4m may be kaun se dimension kaun se aspect pe kaun se parameter pe mujhe improvement lana hai ye 4m aapko wo idea de rahe hain so if i am talking about uh, improvement so improvement mujhe inhi four dimensions mein karna padega inhi areas pe karna padega then only collectively a bigger difference will be created and it will really generate a improvement at the part of different running processes that we are applying in the development of the software not in into the development part over rather in the maintenance part also right so with this i am going to wind up now so any question because you must be having class i also have to enter in another class so keep this idea in your mind and then uh, by next not today uh, by next uh, practical classes we will start uh, this uh, left part block four part right so that's all for now bye everyone bye ma'am thank you bye ma'am thank you ma'am bye ma'am thanks ma'am bye ma'am thank you ma'am